Hi, I'm Michael LaFoss from the Origami Dough Studio, and this is a lock nose dart for dad. It's my lock nose dart design, but with some improvement. And it's being launched on Father's Day, 2018. We hope you'll enjoy folding this. You can fold this from an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. You can also fold it from the A4 series of papers. This is an eight and a half by 11 letter size paper and we're folding it in half long edge to long edge. Take one corner and fold it to align with the single folded edge. And flip the paper over and repeat. The same end is being folded to make triangle flaps like that. Open the paper Take the bottom sloping folded edge, lift it up and let the triangle flap come out. Align the folded edge with the crease. And notice the folded edge of the wing stops right about there. Let's repeat on the other side. Rotating the paper for comfort. like this. So this version is an improvement on one of my classic designs. Here comes the improvement. Take a moment to unfold the recent flaps and notice the new crease line. Notice the cut edge. Grab that edge and fold it to align with the new crease. Then, using that crease, restore the position of the flap. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Cut edge to crease. So this little improvement has added some rigidity to the wings. It's also moved the weight into a concentrated area and gives us this landmark, which we didn't have before. Right here, at the intersection of these folded edges, that's our target. Take the nose corner of the plane, fold it right to that point, and your paper will look like this. While we have the paper open and flat, fold up the back horizontal edge so that you have a crease that basically spans these two corners. An estimate is fine. So if it comes up a little short, it's okay. You don't want to go too far. You don't want to cross over into the heavy layers. Just like this. And then don't forget to unfold it. Bring it right back down. This produces elevator flaps for the back of your wings. Now, let's fold the whole paper in half lengthwise. And here's the lock nose part. These two flaps are going to first be folded tightly together over the nose. And keeping them together, lift the top layer wing roll under and then inside the nose. At this corner of the nose we have a limit. The paper is locked there. And then we have a folded edge here. This is our other guiding point. Take the top wing, roll it over, and the wing fold goes from the nose lock at this end and aligning this wing corner with some point on the long folded edge. So the wings are automatically set. Let's flip the paper over and simply copy the shape to the other side. When folding any paper airplane, try to get good symmetry, matching things well, and good sharp creases. Set the wings out. Check the back for symmetry. You want a slight Y shape. These elevator flaps are probably going to be just fine the way they are, although you may adjust them up or down as needed. And here's something else that I like about this new version. Here's the little cockpit. If you pull this, it lifts up and it opens a little space here and gives a little bit more stability. What you should do is try it with the normal pose first, holding right about here is best, throw as a typical airplane, 
And if you'd like to experiment with this adjustment, you can do that. Don't do it too much, but experiment with the adjustments. I think you're going to love this airplane. And I'm thinking about my dad and his uh, time in the Air Force and his brother who taught me first to fold paper airplanes when I was a boy. Hope you all enjoy this together.